are you guys doing? My name is Lily. I'm so excited you're hanging with us today. We are just amped for our plans for you today. It's gonna be so much fun. Haley, how are you doing? Tell us about your week. I'm great. My week was good. I stayed at home most of the time. I worked from home, but that's okay. It was still fun. Haley, what is it like working from home? Um, sometimes it's harder and sometimes it's easier. Like I don't have to commute to work. I like drive, take the time, you don't have to drive. Yeah, to drive to work. Oh. So it would be like some of our friends here at Unlock Kids who are homeschooled, they don't have to ride a school bus to school. Is that yeah. kind of what that's like? Yeah. When they do school at home. Right. But if you do ride a school bus to school, that's super cool too. Right. We both did that. We both did. rode school buses to school when we went to school. <laughs> okay, Haley, last time you were here, we played Haley Says. Yes. I Remember love that? that? I love that game. Hopefully you were there for that. We thought it would be fun to bring it back and play it again. So we're gonna do a version of Simon Says so everyone stand up, get ready to follow along. Haley is going to be our coordinator, our speaker. She's gonna tell us what to do, but remember, what? What are the rules, Haley? The rules are, you can only do the thing if I say Haley says. Okay. So if I say Haley says, clap your hands, then you can clap your hands. Okay. But if I say stop, you have to keep going because I didn't say Haley says. Okay. Can I get a little bit of action in this too? Can we do some Lily says as yeah, well? We okay. Can do some Lily so says. we'll start with Haley says. And also, you guys can play at home. If you decide you want to choose one of your siblings or someone watching with you to be the person who says, you can just press pause and play on your own for a little bit and then come back for what's next. Yeah, that's a great idea. All right, but we're going to play it in studio, so you're welcome to play along with us. Let's get it started, Haley. Okay. Haley says, make a funny face. <laughs> Haley says stop. Haley says spin around. Oh yeah. And stop. Oh, oh gosh! Darn it! I stopped! <laughs> oh man! Okay, you got me there, Haley. Okay, it's my turn then. I will start. Lily says to touch your head to the ground. Oh, okay. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I used to do gymnastics oh. and I loved it. And that's a forward roll progression. Yay! Yay! Okay, <laughs> Lily says to smile as big as you can. <laughs> Lily says stop. Lily says oh. frown as big as you can. Oh, <laughs> so good. Lily says stop. Okay, Lily says to pat your head and rub your belly. Lily says to switch, rub your head, oh and gosh. pat your belly. That's harder for me Stop. for some reason. Oh, she kept going. <laughs> jump up and down. Well, I can't even do this. Almost. Lily says jump up and down. <laughs> okay, stop. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, Lily says stop. <laughs> we both got ourselves yeah. there. Oh, my gosh. I hope you guys had fun with that game. Maybe you're playing at home. What a blast to just play a little bit of copycat. Haley, have you ever played like true copycat? Do you know what that game is? Um, I know that I've played it on the trampoline. Yes. Yeah. So like someone does a movement and then you copy them and then you add a movement. Right. Yes. Oh, we could probably do something like that and unlock kids sometimes yeah, without a trampoline. Fun. So I don't exactly. think we could fit one in here. What do you think? I'm gonna get a little one. A small one. That'd be fun. <laughs> okay, it's on my to-do list. We will do that. Okay, Haley, another fun thing we do here at Unlock Kids is worship. Yes. So okay. exciting. And guess what, Haley? We have a brand new song today. Oh, wow. Yes. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to play the song all the way through so you can see the dance moves and the lyrics. And you are going to learn it at home. We're going to be learning it at here in the studio as well. So worship is all about giving worth to God. It's showing God how much we love him and how thankful we are for everything he does for us. He's provided you with everything you have from your favorite toy to your least favorite toy to the food you ate this morning for breakfast, even to the bed you sleep in. He provides it. He helps your parents get it. And it's our chance to say, thank you, Jesus. Okay. So stand up on your feet, get excited for this brand new song. I hope you guys like it. We're going to worship together. So let's get it started.
that song was so good. That is such a good song. I've so never good. heard it before. So what for all my days, it's called I Love the Part Where, he, where She Says That Like your, your love never changes. It's always the same, which is like such a good, good reminder that it doesn't matter what circumstances we go through in life. His love never changes. You're so right, Kaylee. That's so good. good. So good. Welcome, Kaylee. Oh, yes. By the way, I'm Kaylee. Those of you guys who have been doing um, or have been watching Kids Service for a little while have seen me um, occasionally pop in. Uh, my name is Kaylee and this is Haley. Our names are like exactly Haley? the same. Oh, Kaylee Just and Haley. <laughs> one letter different. One letter different. Yeah, Kaylee's here to help us introduce the challenge for this week. Oh, are you guys ready? Yeah, what's the challenge, Kaylee? Okay, so the challenge is to go out in nature and take a picture, whether it's on your smartphone, whether it's on your iPad, whether you have like a Polaroid camera, yeah, whatever it is. Phone. Yes, or your parents' if you phone. Don't have a camera. Yes. Go find the best spot in nature and take the best photo. So most creative, whether it's like a beautiful scenery or maybe just like a weird bug or something, <laughs> like whatever you guys can think of that is beauty, beauty in your eyes, take a creative picture of that. So you know, Kaylee, one thing you find in nature are worms. Oh, I do not like worms. I what know. do you think of worms? They're slimy. Oh. I mean, I honestly, I don't mind if I touch them, but I would never want to say eat them. Yes. You know? Oh my gosh. Like our friends did want. Oh, are you guys ready for this video? Yeah. Our friends eat worms. Have you ever eaten worms before? Please tell me no. Please tell me no. So gross. I hope not, but you can watch these two goofballs eat some worms. All right, check it out. Welcome back to another day at summer camp. My name is Scott Mendenhall and I'm with... <laughs> I was so distracted. And there's a reason why, because there's a plate full of worms right there. He's just moving about. Just wiggling. Just Rio worms. All right, well, I'll just hold it out for you. you oh! Just, oh. <laughs> this is going to be so awesome. This is gonna I'm be sweating. All right, let's... This. Okay, gonna... Okay. but well, we're not alone today. That's Lily Wiener. She's really nervous because you have chosen that we eat worms today. <laughs> we are surrounded with some great people here. We have Lily. Hey, guys. We have Joey. And then we have Kat. Hi. Are you nervous on this? A little bit. <laughs> like, what's got you nervous? Um, the fact that they move and they're slimy. You voted that we serve each other because today the theme at camp is serving. If you're on YouTube, we're running a camp right now. This is like day three or four. We've lost count of camp, but we are in themes at camp. Today is sports, sports day. day. We're gonna see who can hold a worm in their mouth the longest without eating it. Lily will go first. Here is her worm. That one's huge. Uh-uh, I'm not doing it. Here, here we go. No, 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 no. No, no, here we go. Open up. You gotta hold it. <laughs> here we go. 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 You're just gonna hold it in your mouth. Just open up. You gotta come forward or you won't be in the light. Here we go. I don't want to do Today it. Today already. Are you gonna do it? It doesn't matter if I'm gonna Can do I it. Can I just... <laughs> Yeah, you guys, right now you're talking with mud on your, here we go, for the kids. Whoa, whoa. That wasn't even very long. Point five that was like point five seconds, there's a worm down. Worm down. Worm. We'll pick your worm. This, this looks like a squirrely one. Here we go, cat, open up. Joey, how do you feel about this? Uh, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to do it. What's uh, the worst that could happen? Honestly, nothing. It's the, I don't know, it's just me holding myself back. It's disgusting. Like, I don't, it's just the slime, the, the, it's moving, it's like a snake. I, I ran over a snake with a lawnmower once and I freaked out. <laughs> I can't even imagine putting it in my, a uh, worm in my mouth. Nice. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's wondering if I'm gonna do it. No, I'm the host of the show. Of course not. Somebody always 
us the host. There's a Joe ready? Rogan. One, two, two. three. Here we do have the hot sauce provided by Lily. You have your choice here, and you're going to pick a worm from this, put it in your mouth, chew, and swallow. Lily has decided to go first because she wants to get it over with. Yes. It's not meant to come out that much, huh? I don't I don't eat hot sauce ever because I hate it, so I don't know what I'm doing. Joey, your face is priceless over there. You're like disgusted by it. Yeah. Ew, 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 ew. I don't want to do this. Let's do it. Let's go. It's a chicken nugget. It's a chicken nugget. It's not done. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Ugh. Done. I still feel it. <laughs> it's hot. Can I have the water? No, you can't speak until everyone's done. Okay, go then. I'm just gonna enjoy it. I'm I don't know what I'm doing. I can't swallow. It's like this is like impossible. It's just like gum. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't swallow. It's like physically impossible. <laughs> it's just like gum. Why are you shaking? Do you not see this? <laughs> this is not something normal for us Americans. Okay. Swallow it. You got it. It's gone. Yay! It's gone? Show us the empty mouth. Just, I mean, bottoms up, right? Just get it on there. Whoa! Oh my God, that, he's down. that is a lot of hot sauce. Can we just. Can we just get a real quick shot? Look at that, would you, right there? The side of him I've never seen, ever. I said it when we jumped off the cliffs at some point. I do dumb things. Dumb things. And I invite other people in life to do it as well. To do dumb things. And it, and it actually tastes like calamari. Have you ever had that? Oh gosh. <laughs> With a hint I of, can't to you, of a Oh, oh gum. It's kind of stuck. <coughs> stuck in my tooth. Ew! That's so gross. Oh! Can you swallow it? Did you see that? Gone. This guy is crazy. Okay, subscribe. <laughs> we love you. We'll see you on the next video that you choose for us to do. Have a great day at camp and on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this point. Like that was gross. It was nasty. I, I can't even, I can't even imagine. It was really bad, Kaylee. And we like, we put the hot sauce on the worms thinking that it would alleviate the taste. And it didn't. Okay. So how how did your stomach feel like horrible, after that? Horrible. Like, but you know why though? I think it was mental. I think it was yeah, all in my head. Yeah. Like that was so. I can't believe I just ate a worm. I feel sick. But I didn't like. I don't think I felt 
like my tummy felt icky because I ate a worm. Like, you know? It's just more like the thoughts. Have yeah. you have you ever had green ketchup before? No. It's like a thing. Sometimes you can find it at certain times of the year, usually around like the holidays, but it's green ketchup. And every single time I eat it, I am like, but it's just regular ketchup that they just put food coloring in. So it but tastes, it's like a mental it thing. It tastes like ketchup. It tastes but like it's ketchup. It's weird putting something that's like, like green, green liquid like on, on like your nuggets. fries or chicken nuggets. <laughs> yes, it's if really you weird. you've had green ketchup at home, <laughs> scream right now. That's so <laughs> funny. Okay, so we showed you the worm video, not only because you have a challenge coming up where you're going to get out in nature. I can't wait to see what you guys do, but because we wanted to show you what it was like to do something that scares you. I mean, I was terrified, Kaylee. Like, mm. no thank you, worms aren't on my typical menu of eating. <laughs> so I was like, I don't want to eat a worm. Are you serious? And I started to get scared. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been like, like you didn't know you were scared of something until? Yeah. Yes, I have multiple times, like many times in my life. Yeah. Whether it's like a roller coaster or a new job or um, just doing something that's out of my comfort zone. Yes. It's scary. Yeah. Yes. And that's what happened. I was like, well, I, I've never eaten a worm. What's it going to do? Is it going to stay alive inside me? Do I have to chew it? Is it going to be alive? Am I actually killing something? Oh, yeah. And I started to have all these like crazy thoughts. thoughts. Yes. But yes. Like, yes. I I couldn't control them. I, they like came in and they kept on coming, they kept mm -hmm. on coming. And maybe for you guys, you've been scared of things before too. Maybe you weren't scared of something and then a friend or a sibling said something that made you realize maybe I should be scared of the dark. Yeah. Or maybe I should be concerned that there might be something under my bed. Like mm -hmm. I, you, you should have never been scared of that before. But then when someone plants an idea in your head, you start to think more. Or maybe you plant an idea in your head and you're like, what if I'm not gonna be good enough to go to the school that I wanna go to? Or what if I'm, I'm not gonna be able to become who I want to be? Maybe bigger thoughts, bigger and scary thoughts that yeah. like never, you didn't have before. Right, right. right? But they come. Mm -hmm. it, there's this big word, it's called, it's inevitable. Yes. It means it's going, going to happen. Yep. It's kind of like you could do all that you try to do mm -hmm. with all your might to make something not happen, but it's inevitable. Like tomorrow <laughs> the sun's gonna rise. Yeah. It's yeah. inevitable. Yeah. You know, like you eat a bunch of ice cream, your stomach might be upset. You might have a tummy ache. Yeah. It's inevitable. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, so fear is our big word today. Fear is inevitable. It will come. You are not exempt from it. There's nothing you can do to not get scared of things. You might not get as scared as someone else, or maybe you are the type of person who gets more scared at things. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are, we've talked about worry before here at Unlock Kids. Maybe you worry more than other kids or more, more than your siblings, or maybe you're kind of like really trusting, which next week we're going to talk about trust. So come back for that. But we're starting this with fear. Okay. And Jesus has a lot to say about fear because he knows what's our big word, Kaylee? It's inevitable. It's inevitable. So Jesus, the, the one who we go to, to not only to experience so much love and so much joy and so much grace, but to learn from, yeah. he knows what's inevitable in life. And he, he helps us in God's word, in the, the Bible, our instruction manual, he helps us know what to do when fear comes in. Yes, okay? which is so good. Like really pay attention if you are reading the Bible, like what God speaks on, especially if he repeats it multiple times. Like he tells us about how much we, how much he loves us, um, about fear. Like yes. those are really important, important things. Like own in on that because if God's talking about it, like we need to know it. Yes, that's yeah. so good. And Kaylee, I'm pretty sure it says do not fear so many times in the Bible. It I does. wish I had the exact number, so many. but I've got some of these verses pulled up. These are straight from God's word. So if it's God's word, it's a hundred percent truth. Nothing you will ever do. Nothing anyone will ever say can change that. Yeah. God's word is true and it's the foundation we can build our lives on. Okay. Yeah. In Isaiah 41, 10, it says, do not fear, I am with you. Do not be dismayed, I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. Mm -hmm. He says that. And then another person who was a, a believer in God, who was a follower of Jesus, just like we are, they wrote in, in this song, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. So we're learning what to do when fear comes in, right? Mm -hmm. we, we're, we're learning to be reminded that God is with us. 
in Psalm 56, 3, we're learning to trust him when we become afraid. Mm -hmm. In Philippians 4, another thing we can do is pray. Paul says, don't be anxious about anything. Don't be mm -hmm. fearful, don't be scared. But instead, when you are mm -hmm. fearful and scared and anxious, pray. Ooh, so good. So those are three things, Kaylee. Yeah. Three things. We can remind ourselves that God is with us. Yes. God yes. is with you. Mm -hmm. Number two is we can trust him. Yes. Which if you want to hear more about trust, come back next week. And number three is to pray. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay so those are the things we're going to remember. Yes. God is with you. You can trust him and pray when yep. you're scared. Yep. So those good. are the three things. Honestly, you guys should write that down mm -hmm. to remember. Go back, press pause in between every one of them, write it down, <laughs> write the verses down, and we'll put them up on the screen too when, when we edit this so that you can remember that God sets us up for success. He really does. Because he knows that yes. life gets tough. Things get scary. No, you might not ever have to eat a worm. <laughs> and if you do, I'm sure it'll be for a funny video just like the one we made. But we want to show you, give you a real life example of how to conquer a fear. Mm. And the real life fears, like, am I gonna get into school? Or I'm starting a brand new job. Somebody, when you're older, you'll have to walk through those things, but there's probably things now that you're walking through that are scary. Trust me, I get it. Maybe you're really trying to not go to your parents' bed at night. Like, I remember that when I was little. Like, it was, it always, you know, it helped me when I was scared at night alone in my bed to go and sleep with mom and dad. Yeah. Well, you're not always gonna get to do that. And I'm pretty sure your parents are like, stay in your bed tonight, you can do it. Well. There's a part of you that's scared. There's a part of you that's fearful. And when you go to mom and dad's bed, it provides some sort of comfort in you. What if tonight you were like, I'm gonna do those three things that I learned and I'm gonna see if it helps me. And if I fail, that's okay. I'll try again tomorrow. It's not like anyone will be upset with you, right? But before you go to bed at night, you remember God is with me. I can trust him and I can pray when I'm scared. And you can pray when you're happy and all the other things too, yeah. right Kaylee? Yeah, definitely. So, that's what we want you to remember is that God is with you. You can trust him and talk to him when you're scared because it will come and you need to know that you can conquer every fear. Again, in God's word, it says we are more than conquerors through Christ, through Jesus. When we include him and when we have him help us, who, who loves us? We are more than conquerors in Christ, okay? So remember that, guys. We love you so much here at Unlock Kids. We just want to, we want to help you. Yeah. We want, we want to teach you about Jesus and, yeah. And set you up for success in this beautiful life. Yes, so, so good. good. So good. So, so good. So we talked about praying. Mm -hmm. That's one of the ways that you can walk through fear when you're scared. Okay, yes. so we're going to pray right now. Kaylee is going to pray for us. So when we pray, we want to talk to Jesus. We want to focus on mm -hmm. him. Sometimes you see people bowing their heads and closing their eyes. Maybe you fold your hands. The purpose of that is so that you don't get distracted so you can really focus yes. on who you're talking to and that is Jesus. So where you are right now, get to a spot where you are focused, you're not distracted. I'm going to bow my head and close my eyes Me too. so that I can focus. Kaylee, okay. will you pray for us? Yes. Hey God, thank you so, so much. Thank you for this church. Thank you for all the kids watching. I just pray that they learn something new today, that they are able to come to you in prayer when they are in fear or when they are happy or when they're excited. God, we want you to be a part of every single opportunity in our lives. God, I just pray that these kids are able to run to you, find comfort in you, and are able to live this beautiful life with you um, in their sight. God, I just pray over each individual kid that they have no more fear. And God, I pray that you walk alongside all of them. In your name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Kaylee. So good. I'm so excited that you guys hung out with us today. Don't forget to come back next yes. week for Trust. We have another awesome video that, that shows how to put your trust in someone or something. Yes. Okay. What about the challenge? Are we yes, showing? Yes, so come back for next week. But before that, we have challenges from last week yes. that we have to show you. Don't forget to send in your submissions for next week. We will play the pictures that you create. Maybe you'll even create a video of, of you capturing the picture. Oh, okay? that would so be what, so good. Whatever you send in, we will play in next week's service. But we have to play last week's challenges now. So check these out and we will be back to say bye. Check these out. Did not see that. I'm doing the challenge. Uh, meet you outside. First, watch the inch row. Ding! Gonna go back down the elevator.
Made it up the elevator. That was a long journey on the elevator. Okay, I got my glass plate. Um, I got my markers, expo markers or whatever. Um, and my water. Okay, so hopefully this works. I got the fat ones, and they're brand new. Just got them yesterday. Um, that one's because, um, a video that Lily did, she used skinny ones. So, I'm hoping the fat ones work better. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do the brown. to change the color to a darker, like the black or something. Okay, there's my camera. This is the button you click, that's the like shade, that's the, um, this is like the lash. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw the film coming out. So it looks, yeah. Because I absolutely love Polaroids. Okay, and then I'm going to do the sunset on the Polaroid picture. Doesn't really look like the sunset. But totally fine. I'm going to change it into a sun. Okay, there. Got it. Now, let's pour the water. Oh no, it's working. It is working, guys. Hi, I'm doing the challenge today, and I have this stuff for the challenge. I have my uh, my marker for like the challenge, and some water. Yeah, I don't want to spill it. So, and a glass plate. We already tried one, and this happened. I don't know if you can see it. But it's still on. Yeah, so head to the intro. Now, better go into draw. I want to draw like I want to draw it like thin. But not too thin. And then I'm going to do that. And that's what I did. He's doing the dad that stick man guy. And yeah, I'm here to have fun and win the challenges. Cool. So, yeah, bye. I'm doing it after you. No way. I'm doing it after you, Mom, can I do it for fun after? Yeah. 
We'll both do it together. No. Uh, uh, no. Jump in, you jump in. Mom, jump in, jump in, jump in, no, jump I'm in. Doing it I'm doing this thing. There's another one. And a dishwasher. Mom, look at it. It's jumping. 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 Stop. Mom, look at it. It's jumping. Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. Okay. Did it. Did it. I hope you like the um, thing I did. I like it. I liked it because I liked how it was jumping. And really, I hope you um, like it. And like I said um, in the video, I'm not just here to win. I'm also have to having just have to have some fun and spend some time. And I like being in the small groups because I get to see my friends and Lily and spend time with all of my friends and Lily. And bye. Hey guys, um, I'm doing the challenge, uh, the like marker thing, the. The water marker thing where you make, you color something uh, and then you put pour water on it and then the thing floats. So let's head to the intro. My water, oh, that's glass, so we gotta be careful, let's do that. And then we got my glass plate, this is glass too, so we gotta be careful with this. And it's supposed to be white, so you don't forget that. And then we got our marker, driving race marker. So let's uh, hit the time lapse. this one uh, I am just drying off my plate uh, so um, it, it had all of the stuff on it uh, like the ink stuff uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this one and sadly this one is over I uh, can't wait to see your guys's but for real this time this one is over there you go. Hello guys, I'm here to do the challenge. Well, we got our plate. We got our plate. We got our water. We have a water that we have our marker. We have our water. We have our marker. And that's what we do. See ya. And I'm helping him do it. So, it's the challenge. Let's get started. It's not done, but we're working on it. And now we're dumping the water. Work. Oh, it's working! Yes! Wow. Stop, Curry, just do the stop! Whoa, it broke! Yeah. So nice. Hello, guys, I'm here to do the challenge, yeah, and you can I see that I got my red marker, which I'm going to draw it on the plate. And we have our water that yeah, I'm going to pour marker. onto it, and that's yeah, what we'll do. See ya, and let's I'm get to it.
good. It's so good. I, I love the science experiments. Like they are so good. They, they are know, so it's good. It's a blast, but like I am no scientist. <laughs> so I kind of You look like it though. I, like you're well, she's ready. I got, I got the goggles. Got the goggles. The lab yeah, but I like, just like wing it every time. <laughs> and I'm so thankful you guys have a grace for me because <laughs> it's just it's just really good. You know where we get that you know, grace from? Where do we get it? Jesus. Yes, thank you. Thank you guys. He for gives it to us. Jesus to in give your grace when you have Okay, so send in your nature picture challenge submissions by next weekend, and we'll put them in next weekend's kid service. We can't wait to see what yes, you guys do. You're, so good. you're truly amazing. We love you guys a ton here. We'll see you next week. Yay! Bye, Bye guys!